up community Sade Simone here and today's video is about one of the most powerful antidotes to so many of our problems. This antidote is what set me onto my spiritual journey. This antidote is what has helped me tremendously transform my mind and reconnect with the spiritual heart. This antidote is something that we all already know, but we've heard so many times, but it's important that we remember, remember to remember that we have access to this language. This antidote is forgiveness. When we learn to forgive, we realize that we are not our mistakes. When we learn to forgive, we realize that our mistakes do not define who we are. When we learn to forgive, we realize that we can actually be present and make a positive impact into the future. When we learn to forgive, we are able to unshackle ourselves from the past and we're actually able to stop the cycle of harm. We're actually able to stop bringing the past into everything we do in the present moment. When we learn to forgive, we're actually decreasing anxiety, decreasing depression, decreasing chronic stress. According to scientific research, if you can't forgive, if you're holding on to grudges and, and pain and suffering, you're actually making yourself physical, physiologically and psychologically sick. So forgiveness is the antidote that can help you on your path towards freedom. Forgiveness is the antidote to stop the cycle of harm. But here's the important point though. Forgiving is not that you are not taking personal responsibility for the pain that you've caused others or you're taking away responsibility for of, of what others have done to you. Forgiveness is giving you and I and all of us the opportunity to just choose different. Choose a path towards happiness. Choose a path towards freedom. Choose a path towards inner wisdom and inner strength. Okay? Because we are all worthy of living the life of our dreams. But we can't connect to the dream language. We can't connect to the language of the spiritual heart if we can't learn, if we can't forgive. So forgiveness is a pivotal, it's a foundational step on the spiritual path. There's three main parts of forgiveness, okay? And because remember, forgiveness is an art. And we have to constantly chip away and practice this art until it becomes really part of our main vocabulary and two, it becomes our default way of operating, okay? So we learn to forgive ourselves for the ways we have abandoned ourselves, for the ways that we have caused pain intentionally and or unintentionally or unintentionally towards ourselves. The second part of it is you forgiving those that have caused you pain intentionally or unintentionally. And the last part is you asking for forgiveness for the ways that you have caused pain intentionally or unintentionally to others. Remember this, my love. Set the intention today that you are wanting to forgive. It is my intention to forgive because when you learn to forgive, you're becoming self-resolved. You're practicing self-resolution. And this is the magic sauce. It's that I'm not asking you to go and hand this letter. I'm not asking you to go and talk to this person. I'm asking you to at least have the courage to do this from your side. I'm asking you to have the courage to choose to become self-resolved. To be in self-resolution means that you are actually sending an impact into the grid system and changing the mechanics that we're all connected to. This grid system that we're all connected to, you're sending a positive signal that you're choosing to be a solution-based individual, that you're choosing the path of freedom. So set the intention today that you're willing to forgive, that you're trying to forgive, that is your intention to forgive, and just start to see how your life starts to change. Choose self-resolution.